Hi everyone, my name is Roman Roxer and I'm a product manager of the DSS Pro. Today I will show you something really specific, how you can define your own alarms based on text. So I guess you will be amazed by our new features. Okay, so first of all, I will show you what is our text-based search. So uh, we go to DSS Deep Explorer in our DSS 8.7 and over here we got the target search and also the content search. Content search is actually the new thing uh, over here which we have in DSS 8.7. So we can just type in any kind of the text and search for specific things. So for example, today I'm going to search for the man in a black shirt with a gun. So how I can do this? Just click on search. And today, last three days, last seven days, blah, 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 you can do actually your own search over here. You can also choose which cameras you would like to search on. Now I got the results over here uh, based on the probability that we have here the man in the black shirt with a gun. So if I click over here, I got the result over here. I see the man with the gun in the hand. So actually what we are doing in DSS, in with our IVSS, we are deeply analyzing each of the results. So you can search for actually anything over here, for example, uh, police car. And we will search for the police car. I guess you all know that. But how to make an alarm, for example, I see the police car, I see the ambulance, I see the man with the gun. This can be done via our IVSS device. So you need IVSS. In my case, I have IVSS 71082i. Uh, of course, load the correct firmware and then you can do those alarms. So I will show you how. So I log in into my device. Now, first, uh, I need to set up my algorithm. I go to zero sample alg uh, algorithm and text define alarms. So I create my new algorithm, my new alarm. And for example, the name will be webinar. Alarm ID will be 79797979. It needs to be 10 digit number. And then what, uh, as I was searching for the man with the gun, so I can put also over here. So man in black shirt with blue shorts, with gun and I put the probability when I would like to launch the alarm. I can put also exclusions, for example, no woman, uh, no uh, pink dress, uh, whatever I think of. So I can put also exclusions over here and just hit save and apply. So that's all you have to set up in the alarm. Then, so first of all, I need to add the rule. I will add my rule webinar which is actually the man in the black shirt carrying the gun. I will enable on this camera. Then I need to do uh, event linkage. So I add event linkage. I can do some uh, camera audio or uh, flickering the camera warning light and so on. In this case, I will send the command into DSS, but I can do multiple, of course. The command I need to specify over here. So I put the IP address of my server. So HTTP IP address of my uh, server and the port is 188.01 slash and then text. So I will put in this case text webinar. So if this appears, if the man appear over there, the IVSS will send to this IP address on this port the word webinar and I hit save. Then I go back to my DSS. In DSS, first what you need to do at the beginning, you need to go to system parameters and in security configuration, just scroll down and add the IP address of your IVSS over here into HTTP allow list. By easy click over here, IP address of your IVSS. And also to generic event allow list, add again your IP address of your IVSS. I already did that in my case is 111. So this is the first step. Then, and this is applies for all the events uh, receiving from this device. Then you go to event center and you create generic event config. 
and in this case I will go over here click add the name will be webinar and the text which I will receive will be webinar and change the protocol to HTTP as you remember over here we put HTTP so also and the word webinar so the same thing I need to set up over here in DSS HTTP and the word webinar and hit OK then go to event configuration click on add new and this is same like for any other alarm click the generic event you will choose webinar name we can put webinar or man with the gun whatever you think of linked action link video and now I will choose on my cameras or link the all my cameras or just specific camera uh, in this case I will put the front gate camera and when the alarm appears I want to have a pop-up right on the operator screen mainstream substream substream is enough even recording yes and over here since this is a post analyzing feature so once the object disappears we are sending this result this small box into IVSS for future analysis so over here I recommend to change the time for 20 seconds and put the pre-recording time to 10 seconds trigger snapshot no needed who should be notified system and Dahua user over here and just click OK so now everything is set up we will open over here the monitoring window just to verify if the alarm really works and we will ask our colleague over here to just go outside and trigger the event so now my colleague will go out in the black shirt with the gun and he will trigger the alarm we see the guy over here if we pull out this menu we will see the results appear and we get automatically generic event webinar so you see once he disappeared we automatically got the alarm over here and we will get one more because again we got the man in the black shirt with the gun so if the person disappear again from the field of view this image this small image will be sent to analysis and the alarm is triggered as you can see over here so you can be really specific on this kind of event i hope you like this uh, little demonstration of how you can set up the alarm okay if you want to see the history of the events we can always go to event center and in event center we will see all our events which appears over here so we got over here the man with the gun and if we want we can watch the full recording of of this person that's why i said like put those 10 seconds pre-recording time because actually the result is sent after the object disappears that's why I never forgot to give this 10 seconds pre-alarm time okay regarding the like confirmation if we did everything correctly now i will ask my colleague to go out in the white shirt so as you can see my colleague David is now out he changed the shirt white is a good one and not triggering the alarms because we set up this alarm pretty strictly that the man needs to have the black shirt so in case you want to be notified about such a person that he is going out you can you can notify or you can create such an event for really specific target so uh, for example your security guard is wearing the black uniform so if someone is wearing the bl black uniform and the gun this is okay but if someone is wearing the different color of the shirt you will create the alarm okay thank you very much for watching our short webinar on this topic i hope you enjoy it thank you and have a good day bye bye